Hey there, it's David H. Lawrence the 17th, and today I'm, I want to talk to you about what happened to a student of mine. I don't want it to ever happen to another student of mine ever again. And so I decided to take some action about it. So a little bit of background. We're teaching the ACX Masterclass as we speak. We're just wrapping it up. And a couple weeks ago, we were teaching the class that helps students gather together all their assets, their equipment and the software and the plugins for that software. Uh, the software we recommend when we're teach, uh, teaching the class is Audacity. Uh, it's lovely, it's awesome, but it requires a plugin to be able to export MP3 files. Audacity is open source, so it can't use a licensed MP3 encoder like the classic one that iTunes uses, uh, because that's licensed by Fraunhofer Thompson, or is it Tom Thompson Fraunhofer this year? Who knows? Um, but there's an alternative, and it's a reverse-engineered, uh, legally, reverse-engineered uh, MP3 encoder called LAME. And basically, Audacity uses LAME to take whatever you've recorded and turn it into MP3 files, which you would then upload to ACX. So LAME is also open source, and it's only available from the open source team as a bunch of code which isn't useful for Macintosh users or Windows users because you can't install it unless you wrap an installer around it. Okay, so we sent people for years to a site in Argentina run by a lovely musician uh, who did the wrapper, the installer wrapper for both Macintosh and Windows and opened it up for the world to be able to, you know, take when they needed it. But he realized what kind of awesome traffic he was getting. And what he started to do a few years ago was add advertisements, banner ads, you know, pop-ups, things like that to his site. And it's now become like this absolutely dense thicket, a morass of all these ads. It's hard to find the actual link to download Lame for either Macintosh or Windows. And you have to download it to be able to, to work in, in audiobooks with Audacity, etc. So what happened this past week or that, that week that we did it, was one of my students went to the site, and when she went to download the installer, a dialog bo box popped up that looked very much like the installer. But it wasn't. It was an ad, and what it ended up doing was changing her... When she clicked on it, thinking it was the installer, she ended up changing her default browser to something other than Google. I'm not even going to give publicity to what it ended up being because it was a crappy move for that advertiser to make. And it was uh, the, the straw that broke the camel's back for me with this page. I mean, I'm very appreciative of the musician for being so generous to host this, and but it's now dangerous. And so what I did was I said, I'm fixing this. So uh, Max Smart, one of my coaches, happens to be very experienced at creating code for uh, Macintosh installers. He knows what he's doing. And he uh, very generously offered to create, because this is all free. Everything here is free. He offered to create an installer for me that would be a place that I could send my students, whether it's ACX Masterclass or Vio to Gogo, or Camera Ready U, or Rehearsal Pro, anybody actually in the world. So this page that I created is not protected. He created installers for uh, for Macintosh, for all versions of Macintosh, uh, operating system versions. So all, as currently, as we record this up through Dark Mojave, um, and for Windows. And it's now on a special page, lame dot vo to go go dot com and there are no ads i mean it's just a plain page on the vo to go go dot com site i mean if you consider the links to the rest of vo to go go dot com that are on every page ads well that's up to you but uh, there are no like google ads or any other ad purveyor on the page it is simply if you want lame for windows if you want lame for macintosh here they are and we're hosting them locally on our site, on our server. So it doesn't take you anywhere else. You go, you get the installer for whatever version of computer you're using, 
you install it, and no chance could you be sidetracked or fooled by an ad that looks like an installer. And I hate to do this to the guy, but it's like enough is enough. I, I can't I, I can't send my students there in all good conscience if the ads that he's running potentially could be dangerous to them and change something that drastic about their browser, you know? I mean, if you expect Google to be your search engine, then you should have Google as your search engine. And it's going to require some work on her part to fix that. And I don't want to have that happen to anybody ever again. So from now on, I'm going to be publicizing the fact that if you go to lame.viotogogo.com, uh, you will uh, be able to get, you'll be able to be in a safe place to download Lame for either Mac or Windows. And slowly over time, people will find out about it. Yes, it will be beneficial to me because it will bring people to the site, especially people who need to export MP3s, which is voiceover people. But I will make sure that nobody ever gets caught like that again. And I'm willing to pay the 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 fees to host what could be a lot of traffic, uh, a lot of throughput traffic, um, for that to be safe. Um, I think that we're in a in a place right now when it comes to things like the other day I did a, a video on robocalls and spam, and uh, we're at a place right now where it's an arms race between nefarious kind of black hat advertisers who create ads that look too much like actual work and not enough like an ad. There's a reason that radio stations will say before an ad that sounds like a newscast, the following is a paid advertisement. Or on television, they'll do that with an infomercial that looks very much like a newscast. Or in newspapers or in a magazine, you'll see a tiny little bar that says this is an advertisement when it looks like editorial copy. And I think we need the equivalent of that in the world of online ads. We don't have it. I don't know how we would do it, but enough is enough. And I, I just thought I'd do something about it. So uh, it's lame.viotogogo.com if you want to get the latest version of Lame. If you got one that's working, you don't need the latest version. Uh, we will update it over time as the latest version is updated. The open source version is updated. And I'm thinking about doing it for Audacity as well, although the Audacity site uh, is a .org site, and it has no ads currently. So I think I'm going to leave that the way it is. But if that ever changes, I'll do something about it. Um, ever get caught with an ad that looked very, very uh, safe and like a piece of, of a web page, but it turned out to be something that, like, ruined your life? Uh, maybe it added malware or it added some sort of uh, threat to your computer? Um you know, these kinds of ads can can engage in ransomware. I mean, it's just, it's just a bad section to be in. And I feel bad for this musician because I don't think he, he's got notes up that say, hey, be careful about the ads that you click on. But, you know, people that are just getting started, they're not going to be able to respond to things that way. They're not going to be able to know the difference between a real ad and uh, a, a, or real copy on a web page, you know, stuff that you should be able to click on. And an ad that looks like that. So, yeah. So that's it. So let me know in the comments below what you think of all this and what your experience has been trying to stay safe on the internet. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, go ahead and click on my head there. Uh, if there's no head there, there's a, you know some sort of a sign up button somewhere on the page. If you'd like the latest uh, video that I put up in these one a day videos, go ahead and click on that frame there and uh, they'll play it for you. I'm David H. Lawrence, the 17th. I thank you so much for watching these videos, and I will talk to you tomorrow.